All right. What's up, guys? This is Jonathan from Rev Free Moto. And I am just south of the town of Gordonsville, Virginia, getting ready to take the Fat Boy, the 2023 Harley Davidson Fat Boy 114 out for a break-in ride. Just got some Vance and Hines Eliminator PCX 300s installed yesterday and she is sounding so much better than when uh, I rode it with stock pipes. All right, beautiful sunset coming in. time uh, that I'm actually talking to you guys while I ride a little bit. Don't worry, I don't plan to talk your ear off. I know you want to hear the pipes. It's a Friday night beautiful evening. Some rain coming in tomorrow. Now, still on the break-in period on this motorcycle, so not supposed to go over 3,500 RPM, that was according to Canadian Saint YouTube channel, he's got a uh, fat boy as well, so I've been watching some of his videos for some guidance. This is not my first Harley. going to get out of this traffic in just a minute. This 240 rear tire just wants to grip the road amazing. Like nothing I've ever felt on a motorcycle before. Smell that barbecue.
normally you can uh, scoot right through this town without uh, having to stop like this Friday night. vintage, which I'm not going to lie, it was a little hard to part with, it was a good bike, but I've had it for five years, and I was starting to wanting, starting to want to customize it some, I do 
would like to ride all day, and I can do that on this motorcycle. I can throw a windshield on it if I want to. I can throw quick disconnect saddlebags on it if I want to. But I got away from Harley. I wanted to try, you know, there's a lot of uh, culture in the Harley world that's um, not always positive. That big bird, good lord. Uh, hit that with my helmet, that, feel that, but I'm trying to, I believe that that Harley culture is starting to change, being, becoming a little less, uh, you know, get a real bike, that kind of attitude, I, I feel like more people are riding Harleys now who are intelligent, regular people, not to say that before it was intelligent people, but you know, they just Harley riders have this reputation. At least they did years ago. So I feel like the image is starting to change. I feel like they're working on their image, trying to appeal to the younger generation. And I'm trying to give them a chance. It's always good to change up every once in a while. You know, a big part of riding for me, really, uh, almost all of riding for me other than it's fun is it's mental health for me it's huge for my mental health um, as a first responder uh, I've had a lot of uh, trauma in my life a lot of stuff that I've seen uh, my father died when I was 12 years old uh, after battling cancer for over a year and uh, kind of watched him die. Uh, that was awful. Um, and I didn't face that for a long time. You know, uh, I'm 44 now. I didn't face it until my mid-30s as far as speak to a counselor. And before that, my life was a train wreck. On the outside it looked okay, but I had all sorts of issues. I had addiction to alcohol. I had no faith, relationship, God. I think belief in a higher power is very important. But once I started facing these things and leaning on my faith and starting and quitting. I quit drinking uh, nine years ago. It's a healthy decision. You know, it, it changed my life. And, and way, way, way for the better. Saved my marriage, saved my family. So now I'm a father of three married for 20 years this month went by the grace of God um, but I try to live my life in a way that I appreciate it and I appreciate the second chance I've been given not everybody gets that and so you know I try to gracious and have gratitude for every moment that I'm given. It is really windy today. It's like I picked the windiest evening for my first photo vlog.
that is. I just try I'm trying to share the experience with you. Oh, those pipes sound so wonderful. And they're not like overly loud at all. If you have a, a Harley soft tail and you're still slinging the stock pipes, I'm here to sell you the Eliminators from Band to Nine. They are awesome. They're a little pricey, but I put them on myself and then I used a Harley Pro Street tuner.
listen to the rumble and you don't even have to look at the video, you know, it's very relaxing. bugs on the lens this time of the evening it gets so buggy this time of year but yeah so as far as the audio uh, the vlog itself uh, I have a Cena an older Cena headset like a Cena 10 RMH SMH that's an SMH and guys are beautiful. Well this Cena um, it Bluetooth to my phone and I was looking at like a media mod for the GoPro and all these other options uh, to try to record audio. And I'm like this seemed like so much work. So I'm trying this. this method because I'm actually recording a voice memo with my iPhone as it's Bluetooth to my headset in my helmet, which I had never heard of doing before, but I tried it and it worked, weirdly enough. And so when I get back from this ride, I'm going to have to see what the quality is, if I can add it in post-production. Like I'm some sort of expert at video editing post-production. Side street, and I think it's uh, worth taking the detour because of this. DTO limit sports fury. We'll get a we'll turn around and get another look at them. There's more around here, but they're all in those garages over there. by the suspension travel. On the Indian, it was um, like three inches or something on the vintage. And the fat boy, it's not bad. It's pretty comfortable, but it's not the same. That's okay, that's what comfy seats are for. in a Plymouth and then this one I have no idea what that is I can't read it if anyone knows what that car is drop a comment cool whatever it is
respectful of the rules. At least still 500 miles. This, uh, man, this engine is like a freight train, the 114. Yeah, I don't, I mean, this is stage one. I've got the stock, uh, high end, high flow air, air cleaner, which, uh, looks like a K&N filter on it, type, type breather. And I've got the pipes and the, the tune, of course, and that's it. And man, this thing just wants to, it's like a rocket. I mean, as cruisers go, it's like a rocket. Um, I've had so many different kinds of bikes. Um, CBR 600 F4 uh, was my, was the main sport bike I had. That's cool. So, sport bikes, they're cool. They'll get you in trouble a lot faster than this bike will. Of course, this will get you in trouble too. But I always felt like when I was, I had one when I was like 23 uh, years old, 22 maybe, and gosh, amazing. Needless to say, I thought I was going to get myself killed on the sport bike.
air, but a lot of vibration. It would come through the handlebars. I had a lot of fun on that bike. But yeah, the, the next bike I got after that was the R600. I was like, <laughs> a little uh, different. I've also had BMW, GS, GS Adventure, 1200. I've had a Honda BTX. Had a Kawasaki Vulcan Nomad under for a while. battle with 
alcoholism. Uh, there's a website for that, and there's a book, and there's a movie, and all that stuff, so check the description.
I did have a Suzuki C51 that I thought was way too light and way too underpowered. has its own qualities. It doesn't really matter what you ride. As long as you ride, you know, as long as you're living free. is hidden right now, but that's alright. Good spot to end the video. Appreciate you watching. Thanks for uh, hanging in me there with me there while I tried something new. My first motovlog, my first motovlog where I'm actually talking. So, thank you and uh, God bless and we'll see you in the next video. Appreciate you guys.